guys hey everyone thank you so much for joining today and let me just thank every one of you who came here tonight and everyone who will be watching this after you know guys i always tell you i even if you don't watch any of my messages i love when you show up at the prayer because this is what our life is about our life is about thanking god praising god you know and if we can't even find time to say thank you god what is the purpose what is the what even is the reason for us asking for anything what what even is the reason and purpose for finding love and that's why there's a lot of us who can't find love and the love that we are looking for it can't come to us because the one true love that we should be searching for looking for yearning for is god and we can't find him because we are busy looking for that love elsewhere as long as we acknowledge that true love comes from God, that us loving ourselves brings us closer to God, that we are definitely children of God. And once we give everything to God, we're all protected, we're all covered, we're all blessed. Even if we don't even give God thanks, even if we don't acknowledge him, even if we don't acknowledge the fact that he is our Lord and Savior, that he is our guide, he still blesses us. That's how much God loves you. And that's the same kind of love that God wants us to have for anyone. It doesn't matter what they did or said or how they treated you. You forgive them, you let it go, and you continue on with, their, with your life. Making sure... That you keep yourself safe, you keep yourself protected, and not to intertwine yourself with negativity. So you protect yourself, you forgive, you let it go. But you also stay away from the situations that cause you that hurt and pain in the past. So everyone who is here tonight, just pretend like we're in a room together. We are all friends here. We're, we're a group here. We're a family. This is what you call a soul family. Anyone is welcome here. Everyone is welcome here. Because we're all children of God. But the thing is, do you recognize him as your father? As your creator? As your healer? As your leader? As your guide? As your protector? As your caregiver? Sometimes we only remember him when we are in need, desperately in need. But he's always looking and watching out for you, waiting for you to acknowledge that you truly need him. Let's not just wait until when we are hurting or when we are in a situation where we can't handle on our own to remember him. The same way we love attention, the same way we want to be acknowledged, the same way we want someone to cherish us, respect us, care for us, is the same thing God wants. Remember, we are made in His likeness. Everything that we're about is the same thing that God is about. Everything that we're looking for God is also looking for it from his children. So we should always take the time out to give him thanks. Because if we ask, he will answer. He will give it to us once it, for, it is for us. And it's in his will for us. So guys, let's take a few moments of our time. Let us pray. Just pretend like you're in a room with everybody here. We're holding hands, standing in a circle, giving God praise. Praise his name. God knows your heart. God knows what you're asking, what you're about to ask. All you got to do is say it. God knows everything that's on your heart. You just got to say it to him so he knows. So he knows that you truly need him to help you. God is not going to interfere in your life. He knows what you need, but he's not going to come and say, let me give it to you. 
You've got to ask him so that he knows that you need, that you are in need, that you want, that you accept him to lead and guide your life. So sometimes we sit down and we say, where is God? But let me ask you, did you call for him? Did you, first of all, acknowledge him as your master, as your leader? Because how can he serve you if you are not his master? Your master looks out for you, guide you, protect you, and would always show up whenever you're in need. But if you don't accept him as your master, as your caregiver, you're everything. How are you going to see him when he's there? How is he going to spend the time to make sure that everything you need and want, you'll have it? You've got to first acknowledge him and then he will acknowledge you. Same way as human beings and the things of that we desire, the things of our hearts. It's the same thing he needs, the same thing he's looking for. Acceptance. It's the same thing we as human beings are always searching for. Acceptance and love. That's all he needs. Just give it back to him and he will return it to you tenfold. Let us pray, guys. Dear Father, oh God, as we come before you tonight, we want to thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you for being in our lives. Thank you for being the master of our lives. Thank you for guiding us on this journey, for guiding us in our lives. Thank you for keeping us protected and safe. Thank you for covering us. Thank you for being there for us. Thank you for... For showing up whenever we need you, whenever we call you. Thank you for having a plan for our lives that's going to help us and not harm us. Even though sometimes, dear God, sometimes we cannot see what your plan is or what it's going to amount to. We want to thank you for all that you have done for us. Please give us the strength that we need to have the faith that we need. To hang on to you. The knowledge to see and understand. What you need and want and plan. For our future for our lives. Thank you dear God for looking out for our families and our friends. Thank you for protecting us from afar. Thank you for watching out for us. Thank you dear God for being a blessing in our lives. Thank you for being here so that whenever we need your help, we need your assistance. There's always someone to look up to, to call to, to reach out for. Thank you for loving us. Father God, I'm thanking you for joining all of us here together. Thank you for helping us to find this family, this group this camp as we cherish everybody here we respect and we love everybody here thank you for all that you've done in our lives there is so much that you have done and there's so much that you're about to do father god sometimes we can't even find words to tell you how much we are thankful about what you are doing and have done in our lives especially what you're about to do Thank you for keeping us healthy. And if there's any type of sickness or di diseases or illness within us, we're begging you, dear God, to search us. And whatever negative things you find within us, please to remove it, take it away. Because we're your children, dear God. We look to you. We look to you for our guidance and our protection and our health and strength. Wash those negative things out of our soul, dear God. Cover us with your blood. Keep us safe from death and the devil. Protect your people. Protect your children. Cover us with your blood. Our family members, our children, our lovers. 
our friends. Thank you for being there, dear God. Thank you for being that person that we can call on when we don't see anybody else. Thank you for helping us on this journey. Thank you for helping us in life. You have provided for us when we don't even know it. You will continue to provide for us because you love us so much. And we want to thank you and your son, Jesus Christ, for dying on the cross for our sins. We worship you, Lord. We give you thanks, Jesus. Thank you for sacrificing your only son for us. These are the things that we appreciate and more as we look to you for encouragement, for guidance. Call upon you whenever we need you. Please hear us, dear God. Please do not turn away from us. Please continue to guide and protect us, dear God, as we believe in you as our Lord and Savior. Continue to look out for us, dear God. Continue to help us to prosper in everything that we do our businesses, our families, our friendships. Thank you, dear God, for sending us here to be your servants, for having us on this journey to do your will. Thank you, dear God, for this twin flame journey. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing our twin flames to us, for putting us together so we can see what true love really is. So we can experience the best part of you. Thank you, dear God, for everything. Help us, guide us, protect us, keep on protecting us. Help us to prosper and keep sickness away from your children. Thank you, God, for being with us. And as you taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, God, for hearing us. Thank you, everyone, for being here tonight or whenever it is that you're watching this message. Thank you for your support as I continue my best to do my best for you. Keep supporting each other. Keep loving each other. Keep loving yourself. And most important, to keep loving God. No matter what it seems like out there, love God. Love yourself. Love your family, your friends. And everything that you desire will be added to you tenfold. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. Like one like God. And I see you in the morrows for your messages. Later, guys. Love you all. Mwah. Have a wonderful evening, morning, noon, twilight, night, whatever it is where you are.